Hey, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Herbude, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. This is part two of my amazing hair tips. Last week, I did 13 amazing hair tips. I had collected 25 of my best tips to share with you, and we will come to number 13. So today, we are going further from number 14. So if this is the first video you see, you say, Number 14, where are the other 13? So there is another video, part one, that you can see after this, or it's not in the right order that you have to see, but there is a video, part one, with tips one to 13, and this video is from 14 till 25. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on TikTok. Why I'm asking to subscribe to my channel? Because I'm sure that I give my best to give you the greatest hair tips so you don't make the same mistakes as all these hair fails on YouTube. So we're going to start with this part two of this amazing hair tips and we're starting with number 14. So for my next tip, it's more like a food tip. Eat more nuts, fruit or vegetables. They are multivitamins for your body, but also for your hair. It adds more strength to your hair, shine to your hair. What you eat is what you see. I believe that. Many scalp problems are caused with problems from inside. If you are having a greasy liver, then you will have also greasy hair or dandruff. If you have a problem inside, you will see it on your hair. Your hair is really the last place something go inside. For example, an athlete, they can take a hair out, they examine it and they will see if they take some forbidden products, uh, they are still inside your hair. You can see if a if a person takes drugs. So eat a lot of healthy food and it reflects on your hair. You will have more shine, healthy hair. It will grow faster. So eat your fruit and your vegetables. It is more vitamins. My mom always used to say that it was good for me. It was good for my hair. Maybe I didn't eat enough vegetables or fruits. If you are wearing your hair in a bun or in a ponytail really tight, like every day on the same place, breakage on your hair, so hair loss, can happen in the front. So you have to loosen it up a little bit. I have an extra uh, video about the ponytail. I want to put it in this video also, it's very important. So if you put it really tight every day in the same place and you pull it too strong, then breakage can happen in the front and hair loss can happen because the front of, of, the, of the hair is also more thin than in the middle. So these hairs in the front are really fragile. They can break off and hair loss can happen. So I don't know if you are watching this video at a certain amount of time, it's winter or it's summer, but if you go into the sun, and you want to sit down in the sun or laying in the sun, uh, then you have to protect your hair. It's very important because I love the sun. I really do, but the sun is really strong. It's really damaging your hair. You have to protect your hair. There are certain products that you can put on your hair that protects it from the UVA, UVBs. Especially if you are bleaching your hair or coloring your hair and you are going into the sun for many hours, then the sun can do more damage to your hair. If you are laying down in the sun, use a product, especially for the sun, or a mask. If you don't have the right product, sunblock product, like for your skin, if you go into the sun, you have to protect your skin, especially me. But you have to protect also your hair to go into the sun. So a good sunblock product, but a sunblock product is always greasy, always, you don't have any, that is not greasy. Why? Because it has to block the sun. So just a spray and you can brush your hair, it will not block. It may be, it will put a layer on your hair and it protects a little bit, but it will not block. So if you want to block your hair, you have to put a good 
sun block product and the sun, the heat of the sun will make sure that the product goes inside your hair. It will treat your hair very good and it will protect you from the sun. So double use a good protection in the sun. So for my next tip is for everybody and also maybe for the parents with children with long hair. I also have three children and I know if you comb your children's hair in the morning, there can be some tears. Ah, you're hurting me. Ah, you're pulling too hard. Sometimes it is because you're in a rush. You have to go to work. You have to go to school. You don't have that much time. You haven't eaten breakfast yet and you have to comb their hair, right? So, but also for people with long hair, this is very important. If you are brushing your hair, you have to start in the back. You have to take a fine section. Again, I'm again with the sections. So, and you have to comb it from the tips up to the roots. Don't go straight from the top or maybe from the front, straight down. All the little knucks inside are gathering here and then you have one big clump. So you have to take fine sections, start at the tips, going up to the roots. And I hear you thinking, okay, you just said it, I don't have a much time. Believe me, if you are starting here, comb it straight through, one big section in the middle, you will spend more time and you have more stress and you will say, you know, in the morning it's like, mm. if you are doing this, it maybe will take one minute longer, but less stress, less tears, and the kids will love you again. But every time I see a kid coming in my salon and I'm combing and the mom or the father is saying, oh, why aren't you crying here at home? Every morning it's crying. And I explain them. It's like, because I use the technique, first the tips, then the roots. And the kids say, it doesn't hurt. For yourself also, tips, mid lengths or roots, less damage less stress so it's it's better yeah okay we are at tip 18 and tip 18 is for people with greasy hair i'm not a big fan never been of mousse styling mousse to brush your hair it contains alcohol nonetheless the last mousse i tried from authentic beauty it contains less alcohol but a normal mousse contains alcohol also hairspray and every product that contains alcohol is damaging your hair so i'm not a big fan of mousse but if you have greasy hair then maybe it will be better to apply mousse just to make sure that your hair is get less greasy because it dries out so if you have greasy hair maybe it's a good thing to use less volume cream or or any other cream product and then you apply more mousse a uh, volume powder or dry shampoo is also very good for greasy hair so you have to work behind the computer and you have long hair and it's in your face and every time you put a bobby pin inside your hair it falls out especially if you have fine hair it's annoying and it's like putting straight away every hair in a ponytail and remember my tip if you put it every day in a ponytail it's not good it's better to use a bobby pin now and then but it falls out so you have different kinds of bobby pins you have bobby pins that are already very matte so if you if you are not using the matte and just the shiny bobby pins, it can slide out of your hair. But you can also avoid this problem. If you are using a spray on your bobby pin, so it will change your shiny uh, bobby pin into a matte bobby pin and it will stay longer in your hair. Less stress. Yes! My next tip is for a person that is cutting or has been cutting a fringe or a bang inside your head and you don't like it or you want to change your look uh, but growing out the bangs is very difficult first it grows in in your eyes it's really annoying then it's tickling on your nose and then you start eating it up before you know it you're again 
at the hairdresser cutting off the bangs or maybe you will take your scissors and cut it off yourself. But remember, if you're cutting your bangs, make sure that you take your camera, you film it and you send it to me. <laughs> so I can react on that. If you don't want to cut your bangs and you want to let it grow, braid your hair in the front. So braid your bangs into the front and put it here on the side. You can put this hair over the top and then you will have a really good style and you don't have to worry about your bangs anymore. Very easy without getting a nerve wreck. For my next tip, I first I have a question for you. If you have used your brush, how many times do you clean your brush? It, of course, you don't have to clean every time. You have to take the hairs out. How many times do you clean your brush? Why is it so important? Because you wash your hair and you brush your hair and then you go with your brush that is dirty, greasy substance inside and then you go straight into your freshly cleaned hair and it's dirty again. How to clean your brush is to put it in water with shampoo for greasy hair, for example. And then all the dirt and the greasiness is outside your brush. So clean your brush regularly so you don't put this greasiness of your brush into your hair. So for tip 22, if you are using a sea salt spray or a surf tonic spray, I don't know what you call it, every brand has its own name, but if you are using that, it has a very cool texturizing look. It's like going in the ocean and you have surfed and every time you have this beach wave, oh, I love this look, but your hair can look very dull. What you can do is put some oil, some serum in your hands, rub it up and then the dullness will go away and you will have more shine and you can use this sea salt spray. So if you have long hair or you want to have long hair, the longer it gets and you have fine hair, don't cut too much layers. I see many clients in my chair asking me to have more volume on top, to cut more layers so they have more hair. But if you have thin hair and you want long hair, you cannot cut so many layers. It will look thinner on the lengths and tips. So if you have fine hair, let go of the volume on top and concentrate on the lengths and tips so they look fuller. If you cut a straight line, then your hair will look fuller and thicker than you cut layers and you have the volume on top of your head. And in the back, it's like, if you can see through your hair, then it's not nice. So you have to concentrate on putting more hair beneath. Don't cut too much layers if you have fine hair and you want to have long hair. So I come nearly to the end. I have two more tips and an, a very important one is that you have to remember that healthy hair holds color longer than damaged hair. So if you want to have your color stays longer, more vivid, more vibrant, more shiny, then you will have to focus on getting healthy hair. The healthier your hair is, the more color you will have in your hair, it, the longer it will stay. So focus on getting your hair healthy. Don't damage your hair day after day after day after day. So we are at the last tip. If you are looking at all these tips, I'm sure one of these tips will be very useful for you and you are on your way to have less greasy hair, more shiny hair, more healthy hair. So if you have thin hair or greasy hair, you can consider to taking some highlights. Not much, but some highlights. So your, your hair is swelling up and it dries your hair a little bit out, so it will be less greasy. But please, if you have thin hair, don't use 40 volumes. Please, please, please don't do it. Actually, I have an extra tip. Don't put 40 volumes 
also on your scalp. Many times I see people putting 40 volumes on your scalp. Don't do that. Your scalp, it's not made for that. If you want to use 40 volumes on your lengths, if you have thick hair, don't find hair. Thick hair, you're destroying your skin. Don't do that because you have the heat of your scalp. It, it's coloring very fast, so don't do that. Please, please don't do it. I, I, I won't, I won't. Don't, don't do that. Do, don't do it. I'm so happy if you watched this video to the end. So I'm so happy that I could give some of my tips to you. I hope they are useful for you. Uh, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell so you see more hair fail, so you see, you get more hair tips. Every time I react on a hair fail video, the main reason I do that is not to laugh at the people or to comment at the people, but it's so I can stop the video, I can give my tip, why are they doing that wrong, and I can give tips to you so you don't make the same mistakes as they are. It's very important. I received a comment. Somebody did not understand every time I say chaukas. Uh, and somebody, I don't know how he spelled it or she, I don't know what it was. Um, but they were asking, what is that word chaukas? It's something I always say in my language, but it's not Dutch. So it's coming from the Italian word ciao. And ciao is saying hello or goodbye, and I add kus to it. So it's if uh, in Dutch, that's also in Dutch. So it's Italian and Dutch together. Uh, so I don't know why I do that, <laughs> but okay, I will explain it. So ciao, and then if I use a word and we are uh, getting it smaller or something, it's like kus. So I say ciao kus. So it's ciao and then K-E-S, chaukes. I will put it here under. So this is the word I say always, chaukes is to say, hello, goodbye, see you next time. That's the main thing. So let me know in the comments if it bothers you and if it helps that I was saying that it's a video full of tips. So I will say, let's go. So all I'm going to say today is chaukes.